AJ. I told you about that improv thing that I went to, I guess it was just last night. So it was put on by Campus Life, which is this Christian community. It starts, these guys, these three guys go up to play music. And it was actually okay. I mean, it was Christian rock. Croc. <laughs> They played like three or four songs and they were okay. However, I couldn't stop thinking. It just sounds like a love song to God, which is what Croc is. It's, it sounds like a love song with just some of the lyrics replaced with like Jesus. And then the Skinny came up, Skinny Improv. Oh my gosh, they were hilarious. I loved it. They didn't have anything Christian or religious at all. It was just improv. And then the Skinny ended a guy came up and gave a sermon, basically. I think it was a passage from Luke, a parable with the Pharisee and the tax collector. I didn't even actually read us the passage. I hate that. I hate, I mean, paraphrasing, all well and good if you're helping to explain something. Read us the passage and then paraphrasing it so that we can understand it if we might not have otherwise, because that's kind of what a sermon is supposed to be. But he didn't even read us the passage, so I couldn't even have my own interpretation. I just had to accept his as being the one that was true. The Pharisee gets up and, you know, leads this big, um, like, classic prayer to God about, like, thanking God for making him perfect. And then the tax collector is praying and he just says, Father, have mercy. I'm just a sinner. Something like that. And it, but you know what pisses me off? I mean, asking for forgiveness is all well and good. I'm an advocate of that. You have to change. I mean, you have to try. Did the tax collector try to be a better person after this? Or did he just go back to what he was doing? <sighs> Dude, people call me too much. It's disrupting the narrative flow. <laughs> it was... I want to say interesting, but it really wasn't, because honestly, I've seen stuff like that before. Catholic school for as many years as I, as I have had Catholic school. Although, oh my god! So then, uh, he was giving this sermon, and it got toward the end, and he had the band come back up to play. And the thing, this is the thing that I found most interesting about this entire experience, is that both earlier, during the earlier songs, and then again, during this time when we were supposed to be, like, reflecting people literally did this like <gasps> come touch me lord <sighs> or like this people do that in real life what i didn't know people really did that I mean, I guess in a way I did. I've never experienced it. Not only do I dislike it because of the whole not believing in God thing, and I just think people look silly. Even even if I did believe in God, I think it would bother me because it's it's like showing off. I can respect people who have a deep faith. I can respect that. I feel sorry for them because I feel like they're going to waste a lot of their life obsessing over something that it's not there but I can respect them. People of these songs, it bothered me more than anything else because one of the lines, it was all about like, you know, I'm gonna live my life for you, which again, I think it's kind of, I kind of pity people who have that mindset because I feel like we should live for other people, not for this figment. The real point is that it had a line that after this whole like, God, I'm gonna give up my life for you and it's, you know, everything I do is gonna be in your name. The last line of the chorus is, I'm gonna give up my pride for eternal life. It's not the point of religion. The point of religion is not to get something. It's like in Looking for Alaska, this parable, I believe it's a uh, Buddhist parable, I think. I was wrong, it's a Sufi story. I'm going to take this bucket of water and pour it on the flames of hell. And then I'm going to use this torch to burn down the gates of paradise so that people will not love God for want of heaven or fear of hell, but because he is God. That's so perfect. I mean, I don't believe in God. I don't believe in loving God, period, because I don't believe in God. But if you're going to love God, love God for God.
don't love God because you don't want to go to hell or because you want to go to heaven. This is becoming a really long religion ramble and I can do this for a long time. And this was just supposed to be talking about the skinny and this thing that I went to, but I got caught up, obviously. Overall, this thing that I went to, I'm glad I went. It was an experience. Not necessarily an experience I've never had, but it was still an experience. And experiences are good. I feel bad for people, though. I feel bad for people who can't question things. I mean, really question. Okay. That's all for today. Narrative ramble. Narrative flow. It's ended. I could keep talking, but I'm not going to.